everyone, welcome back. Today I'll be doing the Elements book tag. This is a tag I first saw on Kimberly's Book Nook, and it was created by Tor's Book Reviews. And it's basically like a scavenger hunt where you go through the books in your collection and you have to find books that represent the four elements. And I'll be referring to my um, my uh, questions here, if you want to call them questions. And my, uh, hey look, Black Ox, woohoo! Um, yeah, so I'll be referring to all the uh, elements and things here. So the first element to choose is water, and it says find a book with water on it. So I tried to pick books that maybe other people haven't in their collection or just to kind of bring them to your attention. So I want to try to pick some different books. So the first one with water I picked was Exile. Um, this is by Steve Augerty. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. And it is a post-apocalyptic book about a drowned world. And as you can see all across there, it's not quite blue, but it is, um, everything is underwater. And I have not yet read this one, but I'm looking forward to it. And then to correspond with water, it says, find a book with blue on it. So I picked The Stone Child by Dan Pablocki. And it's a horror book. And actually, in the back, you see this wolf-like creature. It's actually walking right along the side of water. So, hey, double bonus there. <laughs> um, this is about a guy by the name of Eddie Fenix. And he's fascinated by this author who has disappeared mysteriously. Uh, he moves to the town where the author is from, uncovers a mysterious book written in code. And he and some other fans try to decipher the code. And while they are there in the town, some of the very strange creatures from this author's books start to turn up. So they are trying to unlock the code to the book, find out what happened to the author, and banish these creatures. Again, I had not yet read this book, but it sounds really, really cool. Uh, the next element is uh, fire. Find a book with fire on it. So I went with Derek Landy's Skullduggery Pleasant. This is the first book in a series, and as you can see, he's got fire. It's sort of a described as a detective, magician, warrior, and oh yes, he's dead, and he is apparently a skeleton. <laughs> I've heard some really great things about this series. I'm kind of working my way to collecting all of them before I really kind of start diving into them. Actually, the text is pretty large, too, so it should be fairly quick to get through those. And then to correspond with fire, it says find a book with red on it. And I went with Amanda Hawking's um, first book in the Trill series entitled Switched. Of course, there's red all over it. I have not yet read a single Amanda Hawking book, um, although I've heard very good things about the author. This is about a girl by the name of Wendy Everly. She's six years old when her mother um, believes that she is a monster and tries to kill her. Apparently, she starts to believe it herself because a lot of strange things start happening around her. So... Yeah, I actually own the entire trilogy. Uh, it's followed by Torn and Ascend, and I have yet to get to them. <laughs> the next one is Earth. So find a book um, with something related to Earth on it. So it could be trees, a forest, a prairie, something along that lines. I went with Jeff Hirsch's The Eleventh Plague, kind of a another post-apocalyptic book about a population devastated by a vicious strain of influenza. And as you can see, Earth is sort of taken over and it's all growing up over there and to coincide with um, Earth this is uh, choose a book that has green on it so I went with Kate K. Myers The Vanishing Game this is another YA book um, about two twins it's uh, Jocelyn and Jack Jack has died and then Jocelyn receives a note written in code that only the two of them know about so she knows it's from her brother and um, she returns to like this foster home where they grew up in to try and find out what's happened because this is written apparently after his death. So it sounds really cool. Um, the next one was a little hard. It's uh, Air. Find a book with air on it. So air is you have to find something that shows air moving, blowing, wind, something um, to indicate that. And the only one I really could come across was this one, and it's Ken Nair Blake's Anna Dressed in Blood. As you can see, her hair and... These leaves and things um, are blowing around, so that was the only thing I could find with air on it, and I did read this one. Excellent book. First in the two-part uh, series about um, a ghost named Anna and a ghost hunter who goes there to dispatch her and uh, just kind of goes a little different than, than he planned. So excellent, excellent book. I like the first one better than the second one, but if you haven't read it, I recommend it. And to coincide with air, it says find a book with white on it. And I picked the first book in the trilogy by Rachel Ward. This is Numbers. 
And you see white everywhere. And this is about a girl who, when she looks at people, she sees numbers. And the numbers relate to a date, the date in which they will die. And she happens to go on a trip to London. And as she's looking around, she sees almost everybody around her has the same date. So obviously some major catastrophe is about to happen. And she has to find some way in which to stop it from happening. So it sounds really, really cool. Um, I'm waiting for the third book to come out in paperback before I can actually start it. I've got the first two. Um, but it sounds really, really great. And the last one is sort of a bonus. It says, uh, find a book with the colors blue, red, green, and white on it. And that was harder than I thought. Some of the blues look more like greens, but I finally pinned it down to this one. Um, this is by Rachel Cohn and David Levithan, and it's Dash and Lily's Book of Dares. So we've got our blue, we've got our red, we've got our green, we've got our white. So it's the best I could do. <laughs> And, of course, I read this one. This was just an okay um, kind of contemporary book for me about a girl who kind of comes across. Oh, actually, uh, a girl who leaves a red notebook full of challenges and a boy by the name of Dash finds it. And sort of uh, between the two, they sort of start leaving the, this little diary or this notebook all over the place with different dares for each of them to do. And it was okay. It wasn't quite, didn't quite go the way I thought it, it would have, but uh, left me a little wanting. But it was overall an okay book. So that is the Element book tag. I'm going to tag several people. Uh, Ryan, but Ryan Reads Books. Emma from Emma Hart's Books. Erin at Wrath's Queen. Ashley at ABC. AS, oh shoot, ACBS got book excitement. Got to make that easier. Um, and, uh, Charlie at Duvet Day Devours. And Liz over at Izziness89. So uh, if anybody else wants to do the tag, definitely go ahead and give it a try and let me know down below that you've done it so I can go check it out. Thanks for watching.